Welcome to lecture one of Getting Up to Speed in Biology. This lecture is called Molecules of Life. And today, we're going to cover two big topics. The first topic are the bonds build molecules. And the second are the macromolecules themselves. So let's take a moment here. Next time, we'll talk a lot about cells. But today, we're just going to make the statement that the building blocks of life are cells. So life is made of cells. We can think about them as building blocks. They're little building blocks. In humans, a cell has about a 10 micrometer diameter. They are filled with molecules, or they're made of and I'll tell you about the molecules as we go along. And they are a bag of chemical reactions. So that's our background. That's the framework that we're going to start with today. Let's go to our first big topic of the day, bonds build molecules. And let me give you a little disclaimer about this lecture and the other parts of getting up to speed in biology. I want you to have heard of something. I want you to be able to go into a good introductory biology course at MIT or elsewhere, and I want you to have heard of what I'm going to say. You're not going to know all of it. You're not going to know it in depth. But you should be somewhat familiar so that you can go and then do well in your introductory biology course. So bonds build molecules. and a bond holds molecules together. So a bond holds molecules together because bonding is due to attraction between atoms. Bonding is due to attraction between atoms. We'll talk about the kinds of bonds in a moment. In life, there are certain key elements that come up over and over again. And there were really six of them. The big one is carbon, then oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur. And I guess that's five and not six. So there are some others we can add, but those are really the five big ones. You're going to need the concept here of valency. Valency refers to how many bonds an atom can make. So valency equals the number of bonds an atom can make. It is a really key concept in biology. And then finally, when we think about bonds building molecules, we need to be able to somehow represent molecules in an easy to deal with way. And this is where we are going to start. We're going to start with representing molecules. So let's look at representing molecules. I'm showing you here five different schematics of the same molecule. The molecule is butanol. It's called 1-butanol, a particular form of butanol, which is an alcohol. The chemical formula is written on the top. Four carbons, nine hydrogens, an oxygen, and another hydrogen, which is kind of written separately because the OH is a unit. It's a hydroxyl group. And you may remember this from some chemistry which you have taken before. You can write out the structure of butanol, as I've shown it there, with the carbons in the line, every carbon written out, every hydrogen written out, and that's called the full structure. All the atoms and the bonds are shown. But that is difficult. It's a nuisance to write out every structure of every molecule, and so there's a shorthand that we use, and this is the bond line structure shown, where you can see that instead of the carbons, there is a broken line. There is a zigzag line. 
and the carbons are at the corners or at the ends of every line. So if you look at the lines, you can see that there would be a carbon right at the end, and then the next place, the next place, the next place. And that would count up to four carbons. We can show that to cement this by putting a blue dot for each of the carbons. And then we can put red dots for each of the hydrogens. And you can figure out from this where the hydrogen atoms lie because of this concept of valency. Carbon has a valency of four. Every carbon atom can make four bonds. This is the reason that it is a pivotal atom in life because it can make lots of bonds and you can get long chains of carbons added together. And so you can see that the hydrogens are surrounding the carbons and so you've got an explanation there of the bond line structure as you go down this slide. Let's take a pause now and you can go and practice representing molecules and figuring out that you know how to go from the chemical formula to the full structure to the bond line, bond angle formula.